Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeat.com. Man, I'm in the shop. Can you believe it? I'm in the shop. Of course, it is a uh, quite the pig pen and uh, destroyed. It will take me a few days probably to clean stuff up. But I still want to give an update because I've gotten a few things. I'm just going to show a handful of things tonight in this video. And then in another video, I'll show you more as I have a chance to bring them out here. So, um... I do want to apologize for taking so long to get out in the shop. You know, this, it, you know, you guys who watch my channel, you know the story. It's just, things have been crazy. That's all I could say. Just, they have been crazy. So, um, some of the things that I want to work on, uh, you know, last year I said, hey, you know, for the new year, I think I would like to get such and such off my plate and this and that off my plate. And, uh, and then next thing you know, COVID come out and we're all locked down and you can't do anything. You can't get anything. And then I got stuck in this remodel project that is still sort of ongoing, but it's at least nearing an end where I can stop. So anyway, that aside, I do got some new tools for the shop. So let me, uh, let me bring you in and, and show them to you. Okay. In a previous video, I showed you the, uh, remember, cause I was laughing about the name, the Hyma Pearl eighth inch letters, uh, number stamps. So I showed you those and I thought, you know, it'd be kind of nice to have some um, other sizes, right? So, you know, I, I wanted some 3 sixteenths, you know, something just a little bit larger. And I thought that's what I got, but these are actually quarter. I think maybe they're, I don't know what the 3 16 on them is. I, you know, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but these are all quarter inch tall. I measured them, but I, now I got a quarter inch set. So that would come in handy for marking things. I still think I would like to get uh, an... Uh, a 3 16 inch set of stamps too. So anyway, the next thing I want to talk about is I got a set of collets, right? So these are BS9 collets uh, for the mill. So not been opened yet, not been used, but I know you guys think I'm never gonna get that uh, mill done, but I keep spending money on tooling. So hopefully that's an indicator of what I'm gonna do. But anyway, there's a, a nice little set here. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven collets. I think they go from, let's see, there's eighth inch, quarter, three sixteenths, five sixteenths, eleven sixteenths. I think they go up to three quarter, if I remember right. So, yeah, three quarter. So anyway, that's uh, that's those. So. The next thing on the list is I got a two and a half inch uh, toolmaker's vise, also to use for the uh, mill. So that way I think it's small enough to clamp down and use. So pretty excited about that. So I'm thinking. Um, you know, other than uh, not having a, a, an, an arbor to carry, uh, you know, slab cutters and that sort of stuff, I think as far as, uh, you know, end mills and that sort of thing for the mill, I'm in pretty good shape. So let's get to the next item. I've been wanting one of these for a while. I don't know if you're familiar with this. This is an edge technology um, to set. This is a bar, a precision bar to set your tailstock true with your headstock, headstock to remove uh, taper. So I think you guys have seen those. This is kind of nice. I've been told my wife, I said, yeah, I'd really kind of like to have one. Well, that would, that'd be handy. And next thing I know, I had one for Christmas. So that was for my wife. Thank you very much, honey. That is awesome. So I'll put that back up. Okay, and here's the next little item. This is a uh, 12 diametral pitch worm and ring. This is a... Uh, this is for the uh, Gingri dividing head because uh, I know sooner or later I want to make one and Chirpy was nice enough to pass the patterns on to me. So that's uh, that's next on the list of things to make or at least on the list of things to make. You, you guys uh, uh, understand I'm not going to I'm not going to start anything until I finish up a couple of these hanging fruits that I got. OK, one more thing. Now, my son, Mike, decided that uh, this little uh, one-ton uh, hand arbor press from Harbor Freight 
would be a nice little thing to have and and uh, you know I think right for light pressing stuff it beats uh, going over to the 20 ton uh, press and I appreciate that got to find a place to put it so that's the uh, that's about all the tools I'm going to show in this video uh, I did get a couple more books you guys know that I collect these uh, workshop practice series right so this is number 45 basic lathe work number 40 bearings I've read this book it's pretty good uh, a lot of interesting information about the types of bearings and uses and that sort of thing and basic lathe work I've read a few pages of it but you know I've read so many uh, how to run a lathe and and lay this and lay that books that they uh, all sort of seem the same after a while so let me get the uh, camera back in position and we'll close this little quick video out so I know that was sort of a short and sweet video of just some uh, new additions to the shop uh, some of the things that I want to try to take care of again this year is um, I want to finish my uh, Titch stationary steam engine I need to uh, pressure test the boiler and I need to uh, make a pressure relief valve and it's done um, I started a Titch hand pump I want to finish that uh, so I can pressure test the uh, the boiler um, I was given an air compressor that had a leaky tank that the guy welded up so I bought uh, well we'll get into that later we're gonna test that too but not with that little hand pump uh, see I got my uh, furnace uh, crucible tongs and stuff to finish up and of course I got the Burke mill that it needs to go back together so those are the things that I want to get done uh, uh, as time permits and plus I got a couple things that I need to cast I you know I got a plaque that uh, my wife has been waiting patiently for ever and ever and ever for me to cast so anyway that's kind of where i'm at again thanks guys for hanging out with me i know it's been it's been a crazy year for me and uh, i haven't put out much uh in terms of good shop stuff and hopefully i can get back onto that i do have quite a mess to clean up in here so a year of uh piling stuff in and out and in and out and in and out of the shop you know working on the house doesn't seem to help much <laughs> but anyway so hopefully uh, we'll have another one out here soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, uh, liking and subscribing to the videos and uh, sharing them. And uh, most of all, have a blessed day.